I think I'm a strong person after all this because I deal with a lot and I still think I'm doing pretty well to keep happy. Thanks for being here. You're getting a sneak peek of a documentary all about a Bedford County teenager who, as you just heard him say, is dealing with a lot. David Kane was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor, and he's doing his best not to let that get him down. In fact, he's sharing his story with anyone who will listen. He's the star of a 10-minute short film about his life that debuted in New York City last week. Maria Miller talked with him and his family and has the story. It's new at 6. That instant they told us what it was, our, you know, our life has changed and... Um, certainly live more fearfully. David Kane and his family are closer than ever these days, taking random adventures and living life to the fullest after he was diagnosed with an extremely rare brain tumor four years ago. I was just having headaches and throwing up, and it took a while to get it diagnosed because they thought it was something in my stomach, but then it turned out to be a tumor in my head. David has had several surgeries and a very near-death experience. Doctors say it's a miracle he's still alive. The tumor on his brain stem is inoperable and could get worse any day, but David doesn't let it get him down. I learned that you have to really appreciate life because I realize how quick it can go away. He still hangs out with friends, plays volleyball in the backyard with his sisters, even went out for football. But his real passion is fishing, and he got the trip of a lifetime last year to Hawaii thanks to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. We went snorkeling, and we went surfing, and we did a nature tour, and then we went fishing, and then I caught that marlin, which was cool. That fish is not my normal decor. Um, it was an amazing story about that fish. There were so many people um, that made it possible for him to get that mounted. I think the two things that keep us going every day are faith and, and then all of the angels in our life that have shown up. People like Stephanie Angel, the founder of a nonprofit film company in New York City that creates short films for children with brain tumors, recently filming David and his friends for his own movie. Mine's like about living life with the tumor and like trying to kind of forget about it. The film's premiere took place in New York City last week, where David and his family watched it for the very first time. Watching it was very emotional. <laughs> the first time, yeah, I cried. <laughs> we yeah. both cried. Mm -hmm. It was hard to watch again, to, to have that flashback to how bad that had been two years ago. Sometimes he's actually nice and fun and... <laughs> <laughs> he's nice most of the time. But he's a typical brother. Yeah. That's Abby and Maddie. They joke about their brother like typical sisters, but when it comes to his condition, they speak well beyond their age. I stay focused on the positives, because if you think about the negatives, he can't move on with life. A quality they seem to have learned from David himself. If he's going to be that positive and he's the one that's dealing with it and, and has it, then we can all get up around him and support him. David is truly an inspiration. He and his family are incredible. And you can meet them next week when David's film is premiered right here at the Pitt Theater in downtown Bedford. The event is free. It starts at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Thursday, July 10th. In Bedford County, Maria Miller, 6 News.